Before we open the paint station, we need to talk about paint expectations. If you're worried about paint getting on your clothes, there are smocks in the corner. There are only a few, so we need to be respectful to each other. We need to share, be thoughtful. When it's time to get paint, most of the time, Mr. Longfellow, hi, will be getting the supplies for you. But just in case you've shown that you're extra responsible and you can do it yourself, I'm going to show you how we do it. We grab a tray from over here. We walk up to the, the pumps and just one or two little squirts. Dependent, you got to be really careful. Try to keep it in the little divot there, not in the big one, just the little one. One color for each spot. And then we walk it over to our table very carefully and set it down. Make sure it's safely at our table. When you're picking out a brush, make sure it's the right size and shape that you want for your project. Some are bigger, some are smaller. We have some really tiny ones. We have some really big ones. I'm going to take a middle one. Unless Mr. Longfellow tells you to, you don't need to be turning on the sink. Usually, I'll be preparing water containers for people. And then you can walk them to the table or I'll bring them to you. When we're using the paint, how much or how little you put on your brush will depend on what you're trying to accomplish. If you put a lot on your brush, you can make really thick strokes there. If you put just a little bit on your brush, you can make little dry strokes called dry brushing. It's really up to you. But it's always important to make sure we're keeping the paints clean so that you don't mess up your other paints and that we don't make a mess all over the place. If you need to get a lot of paint, dip your brush in, make sure it's both sides nice and, nice and wet. If you put too much, you can just wipe it off on the edge. Wipe it off and then paint away. If you need to wash your brush, just dab it in the water. You can wipe it, on, wipe it nicely on the side to get some of the water off. If you still have too much water, you can dab it on a paper towel. And then it will be good for our next color here. Let's see, let's use a lighter color. So we're going in, painting away. Oh, I got a little red, that's okay. It gives it some, I didn't wash my brush well enough, but that gives it some kind of neat color changes and textures going on here. Another thing we can do is mix colors. On this, you can use either one of these open slots or in the middle. If you're, whoever you're sharing your tray with agrees, maybe I want to make some orange and I want some red in here. Make sure it's mostly off the brush and maybe some yellow. And if I run out, I can talk to Mr. Longfellow, see if there's time to get another squirt of paint in my tray. But then I can mix these together. Ooh, I'm going to make a really dark orange. I think I'm just going to use up all my yellow here. Maybe this will become my orange little spot. So remember, if you're sharing, don't just dive in and start doing stuff without asking people. I'm going to add some white here to make it kind of a kind of a peachy color. Mixing colors right here, live on camera. Here we go. Look at that. Not bad. It's all kept in the tray. It's on my brush. It's on my paper. There's no, if we're careful, there's no reason that paint should get anywhere except the tray, the brush, and the paper. Maybe the water, too. Being extra careful. I set my brush down carefully. Once we're done, it's time to clean up. We can pick up our stuff, we can walk it all the way over, and we can just drop it in the sink. Unless Mr. Longfellow says somebody can specifically wash them, we're just going to leave them in the sink. We don't even need to worry about turning on the water until we're done cleaning up. 
We're not going to wash our hands right away because that'll clog up the sink. People need to set things down. So just walk over, drop it in the sink, and then finish cleaning up your space. I got my paper towel. Got to remember to dump out my water. And we can just drop that in the sink, throw away our towel. And my amazing painting needs to be saved. I didn't write my name on it. Always write your name on it. And we can walk it over and put it on whichever spot Mr. Longfellow says is for our class today. Save it on the drying rack. And I was so careful, I don't even need to wipe down my table. But if I do need to wipe down my table, start with paper towel, a little bit of water. Don't go too crazy. If the water, if there's puddles on your table, you went too far. Make sure you wipe it dry when you're done. Remember, paint only on the tray, the brush, and the paper. Mr. Longfellow will get everything set up unless he gives you permission. And always, if you're not sure, ask first before diving in.